it's time to meet our hackathon winners. Around 70 registered participants from across the industry and around the world have been battling it out. The challenge? To use advanced analytic technologies such as machine learning and deep learning to solve some of the industry's biggest issues. But this was a challenge with a twist, a competition that was about collaboration too. All team members were matched at random on, based on preferred challenge arena and until three weeks ago had never met or even heard about one another. Well, we're pleased to say that the winners in the managing risk category are team three, represented on our programme by Eugenia Schnikovic. Uh, the transforming customer experience category has been won by team 15, who were represented by Kirill Gerasimov. And the Fostering Financial Inclusion Competition was won by Team 18. And here for them with us is Philip Crisp. So, again, congratulations to all of you. There you are on the screen. Excellent. Well done. Big challenge, but you came through. Well, I'm going to start with you, Eugenia, if I may, uh, and managing risk. Tell us about your solution. Uh, what were you looking at and, and how did you tackle it? Hello. Uh, so our challenge was, first of all, to come up with an interesting idea to solve. And given the data that we had and also the topic, financial uh, crime, we decided to work on a detection algorithm for suspicious messages. And my team developed a tool that can be used in three different ways. It is a fraud prevention tool uh, that is empowered by machine learning. We, we use machine learning methods for outlier detection to find something suspicious. And generally, uh, the solution can be used in three ways. First would be to use by member banks that could employ, basically it would be employed internally by member banks to monitor outcoming and incoming transactions. Uh, and all these swift messages of the particular type that we focused on. And the second solution would be to use, it could be, for example, developed by fintech startup or just even maybe for as a, by Swift itself, but uh, it would be a separate product that uh, banks, member banks can use to verify the outgoing transactions. In this case, responsibility would still be on the banks. And the third thing is just to have a solution by SWIFT that they would verify all the incoming transactions before they would be accepted to, for the pro further processing. So that was the main idea or, and our value proposition. Bring Kirill into the conversation because what issue did your team address in transforming customer experience and how did you do it? So in this case, uh, it was also at first um, required to understand what it is we should tackle. And we spent the vast majority of the time working on the value proposition itself, like researching the payments area, knowing what it is that you know is going on in the world here. So to understand what are the really most pressing things. And the one we picked was cross-border payments. So we wanted to address how the uh, corporates deal with that. Um, so the corporate treasurer has to um, ensure their cross-border payments go smoothly uh, in part and in large part due to the way it supports their counterparties, so the suppliers. Um, so we focused on using the data such as uh, SWIFT's uh, standing settlement instructions and the payment history of um, yeah, the corporate themselves to pinpoint where there are certain inefficiencies in their uh, payment process and help them come up with a strategy to optimize so we think uh, this is something good to address here. Philip, if I can bring you in, hugely, a huge congratulations to you also. Tell us what your team was looking at in fostering financial inclusion. Tell us about the challenge you set yourself. Thank you. So um, we really wanted to focus on the doing well by doing good aspect of financial inclusion. So um, I'd personally been looking at mortgages and I knew that Finastra had been working on an open banking offering for its Fusion Fabric Cloud platform. So when I pitched the idea to my team, I was like, let's see if we can give access to credit for people who otherwise wouldn't get access to credit um, because they don't have a credit portfolio or they haven't ever borrowed before, they're scared of credit. 
And so the team were really on board with it. And uh, we decided we were going to look at open banking data and analyze people's transaction data from the banks, looking for positive transaction trends with machine learning to try and give people a, a pseudo credit score, if you like, based on their banking history over the course of a number of months. And Eugenia, tell us a little bit more about yourself and your team, just to give us a sense of how the chemistry worked. Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, I am a data scientist at Clearstream at Deutsche Börse Group. And my teammates are Ashwin Naidu. He's also a data scientist from Citibank. And uh, Cynthia Lima, she's a senior system engineer at Itao Bank. And our team, when we just started, we spent some time exploring different projects and several ideas what we would focus on. But I would say it really helped us that Cynthia is a real domain expert and she helped us not to spend too much time on, you know, just figuring out what can be done. She already knew what could be done in, with Swift messages because she's been working in the industry for more than 20 years. So we really we had a domain expert in the team and that really helped us to start and to go in the right direction from the beginning. And myself and Ashwin, as we are data scientists, so we work on the implementation on the ideas and we, Ashwin was working on the training of the model for outlier detection. So he, discovered, he was comparing different approaches, chose the best solution. And I was working on the other data set <laughs> so that I, we tested his model on the data set that I was working on. And then I developed also a dashboard to showcase what we've done. So generally, it really helped that our team had a diverse skill set and we had a person to address every part of the project. And I would say we didn't really waste much time. On, we, all we did went into the project. And Kurul, uh, if I could very briefly have a similar answer from you. Talk me through the collaboration. Where does your team come from? How did that work for you guys? In fact, that was the single most enjoyable thing in the whole process. So the teamwork, it somehow just clicked together. Uh, so uh, the four of us, we're coming from completely different countries. Uh, so Joe Tomlinson of ClearBank, based in the UK, brought some great UX experience and delivered the whole UI application for us, uh, which was super reliably working uh, and is still. Now, um, Sia Mchunu from Standard Bank, South Africa, uh, was our cloud DevOps, uh, deploying the stuff on GCP and maintaining it uh, throughout all the multiple versions upgrades that we were doing, you know, up to the very last moment, ensuring it doesn't crumble and is reliable again. And uh, Saeed Ibrahim of uh, Finastra, uh, so he was superly focused on the value proposition and on market research and also on preparing the pitching materials. On my side, um, so uh, I was doing the back end um, and actually we collaborate quite a bit with uh, Saeed uh, on how we present the thing. Now, again, most importantly, uh, there was a super zero conflict experience. Uh, we found out uh, personal goals uh, for each of us those were mostly around learning and new experience and building something that works. I'm and afraid we may have out. to just cut you off slightly there, Kirilla. Time is uh, uh, sadly of the essence as we come to the end of Cybos 2020. But I'm going to imagine that you had uh, as equally a positive experience working with your team. Congratulations to every single one of you. Thank you so much for joining us. And, and, and good luck with your futures, I guess. Absolutely, they've well. done really, really well. But look, that's almost it for us, or well, this year at least. It's been a fantastic week and we have spoken to so many incredible guests joining us from all over the world. There's just one final event <laughs> to come from the Cybus celebration. Uh, you can join us both for that very, very shortly. The suspense grows, but for the moment, we would like to say a big thank you to our many guests for joining us here in our virtual home across this week. Goodbye for now. Goodbye for now.